Finally, yes, finally I'm back and it's great to be back. And today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. Yes, the design trend has been changing. There are a lot of AI features coming up and I'm gonna explain that in my further tutorials. But today we're gonna dive deep into some filter galleries. There are ways to use those galleries and I use almost all the time during my design work. So if you love sports poster design and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And this PST file and also a color that is included on my Patreon. So don't forget to check out my Patreon link. And yep, there are tons. Yes, there are a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. all right so here we're in photoshop again and today we're gonna create something different uh, so the goal is to create something grungy some kind of vintagey look on the poster so we're gonna explore some filter gallery and they've been in photoshop for a long time and i have seen only few designers have used that so we're gonna explore that and there are lots yes there are lots to cover and uh, let's dive into the video and very first thing, let's create an artboard first. And for that, place Control N N. And uh, I'm going for four by five. Let's click on OK. And then right after that, let's add a solid color. And just give it a kind of off white, something like that. And let's rename it as a background, right? And then. Well, let's drag and drop some paper cutout PNG. So that's the main assets that assets that we're gonna use in this tutorial. So if you wanna get this file, please check in the description list below. And let's drag and drop it right over here. And I'll just keep it right around here. Let's rotate it somewhere around here. And I would like to keep it like that. Here we go. And Let's keep it inside a group, Control G, and I'll rename it as a image folder 01. And that's gonna be, so we're gonna put one of the images right here. And let's make a one more copy, Control J. And let's, re let's rename it as image holder 02. and so here we go let's control t let's move it somewhere around here and maybe let's add a little rotation let's make it a little bigger and just to give a vibe that it's a different texture so let's add some rotation or there's another thing called warp you can use it just to uh change some look just like so and let's make a one more copy, control J. Let's keep it under. And let's rename it as Miss Folder 03. And control T. And let's move it maybe right around here somewhere, something like this and let's make a one more copy control j let's rename it as image holder 4 and let's control t let's move it somewhere around here just like some mini squeeze and maybe add some rotation here we go yeah something like that and let's make a one more copy control j let's rename it as image holder 5 control t let's see and maybe somewhere around here 
So we're gonna put some picture right over here. So before that, let's drag and drop the image cut out right over here. Control T. Let's rotate a little bit. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's keep it right around here. So I have multiple pictures ready. So let's drag and drop the picture and each image holder. So let's start with image holder one. So uh, here we go. Let's start with the one image. So let's drag and drop right over here. Let's keep it inside image holder one. Right click, create clipping max, control T. Let's move it right around here. Maybe add a little bit of rotation. Let's keep it somewhere around here. Here we go. And let's make a copy, control J. Uh, let's move it right around here just to give that a little ease. And let's do, let's go for image holder 2. Let's drag and drop another image. Right click, create clipping max, control T. Let's move it a little up. Here we go. And let's keep it right around here. And again, let's make a copy of that uh, texture or that PNG. Control J. Let's move it a little up. Yeah, just to give that line effect. There we go. So yep, this is what we got. Maybe let's move it down a little bit. Here we go, somewhere around here. And let's do some color adjustment. And let's start with image one. So let's go over here, filter, go to camera, raw filter. And let's see, let's drop down saturation to minus one. Let's increase the shadows. Let's increase the exposure a little bit or maybe drop down a little bit. And uh, for here, let's dehaze a little bit. So let's see, let's dehaze just like so. Maybe increase shadow some more. Maybe increase a little bit of highlights. And let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And let's do the same thing for this image. Go to filter, apply, previous setting. I think I like it. Let's keep it like that. And let's do the same thing for this image. Filter, camera raw filter apply previous setting i'll just keep it like that filter camera raw filter apply previous setting here we go maybe this one filter camera raw filter apply previous setting and let's do the same thing for this one filter camera raw filter apply previous setting here we go and now let's apply some glow. So let's go to filter. Let's go to filter gallery. Now let's go inside the distort and let's apply diffuse glow. Maybe let's drop down the glow amount a little bit. Here we go. We increase the grain just a little bit and let's click on OK. Let's apply the same thing over here. Let's go to filter, filter gallery. I think this looks good. Let's keep it like that. Filter, filter gallery. I think. I'll just keep it like that. Let's do the same thing right over here. And do the same thing right over here. And maybe same thing right over here. Yep, I think I like it. I'll just keep it like that. And then I have a half tone texture. So let's drag and drop this half tone texture and right over here. Let's keep it under that player image, control T. Let's add a little rotation. Let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. Let's start somewhere from here. Uh, let's change the blending mode to multiply. Let's drop it down some more. 
Here we go. Let's make a coffee. Control J, Control T. Let's keep it right around here. And let's select this too. Let's merge it. And maybe create a layer max. Go to brush. Let's erase it. And again, let's change the multiply. Uh, let's change the blending mode to multiply. One more time. Let's go up down the opacity some more. Here we go. And then let's apply the same. And let's apply a paper texture in very top. So I have a paper texture PNG. Let's drag and drop right over here. Let's keep it all the way to the top. Let's keep it right over here. Let's change the blending mode to multiply. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's add a rotation. Here we go. Just like that. And let's add a contact shadow right over here. So for that, let's go right over here on the player. Just create a layer just below that player image. Go to brush and with a black color, let's add a shadow right over here. Press Ctrl T. Let's just squeeze it. Here we go. Maybe look, drop down the opacity some more. Something like that. There is a hard edge right over here. Let's erase it. Here we go. Now let's add some shadows right over here. Create a new layer. Right click. Create clipping max. Go to brush. And with the same black color selected. Maybe let's drop down the opacity. Just like that. And let's add some shadows right around here maybe right around here control t is squeeze it let's keep it right around here let's create a one more layer control t Here we go. Let's create a one more layer. There we go. Now let's drop down the opacity some more. Let's do the same thing for this one. Just like that. And let's do a final color correction. So select this layer, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And let's increase the shadow just like that. Let's drop down the highlights. And then uh, for the yellow, let's drop it down. And let's drop down a little bit for the luminance. Let's drop down for orange. So, okay, let's keep it like that. Let's make it a little brighter, just like so. And let's increase the clarity. Increase the texture. Let's drop down the vibrance some more. Here we go. Let's increase the shadow just like that. Let's de just a little touch and let's click on OK. And then we're going to create a one more layer. Go to brush. And let's add some shadows, right? Just to add some separation. Just like that. Maybe drop down the opacity just a little bit. And let's add a text. And let's add a one more texture on very top. So let's drag and drop this texture right over here. Let's fill it this space. And let's change the blending mode to screen. Let's drop down the opacity 
just right so let's keep it under this square right over here and yep so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you on next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye